Dad's Nuts and welcome to Dad's Review Channel and a special welcome to new visitors. Um, please click the subscribe button and become a regular viewer. And don't forget there's an index in the description so you can fast forward to any part of the video. Uh, for this review, I'm reviewing a set of darts that was sent to me by 180. And this is their new reptile dart. And this is using the, the brand new Revolution 2 system. And this has been patented by 180 and what that is, it's a system that allows you to change the points in the darts. Uh, the, the darts use the reflex point which is the very thin uh, spring steel point and because the reflex points were starting to get quite popular um, the only problem was people couldn't change the points themselves because you couldn't do it on a normal repointer. So 180 have developed this system and it's quite ingenious and you'll see why when I show you it. And it comes with a tool and uh, extra points in the box. Um, the only thing is this packaging will be going through a facelift so by the time you buy or you may buy a set it might look different to what I have. But there's, I think it's four or five models in the range. Like I said, this is the reptile and I've got the 24 gram and they're also available in 20, 22 and 26 grams and they're expected to retail for around about £60 which isn't exactly cheap but because you get this uh, system and because of the way the dart has been made I can understand why it costs a little bit more as you'll see when I show you. So let's check them out. So as I was saying, the uh, packaging is probably going to change, so um, eventually it will be a smaller packaging and a slight different design. But for now this is what we have. And inside there's a form insert holding all the contents. On the inside of the packaging it has a little graphic illustrating the Revolution 2 system and telling you how to use the tool. And on the bottom it just tells you about the soft tip and steel tip ranges. It tells you the dimensions and weight. And inside the box you've got the darts obviously. And a little tool for unscrewing the uh, section to replace the points. The darts are fitted with some uh, up to be medium sized polycarbonate stems. And you've got a set of aluminium stems. A set of standard shape flights and a set of kite shape and also you've got some extra reflex points. Right so we'll have a close look at the R2 system now. Um, first of all just a little bit about the reflex points. Uh, they're made out of spring steel and obviously as you can see they're very thin. Uh, so that allows um, players of pretty high skill levels to get tighter groupings but it should benefit the average player as well the thing the thing with the uh, points being so thin means that the grouping can be tighter and with it being springy when the darts in the board an incoming dart it can flex the dart out the way but the fact that the point is so thin it's still got a good chance of uh, getting into the score in bed um, the only thing is that because it's made out of spring steel, over time that kind of elasticity of the steel, the springiness if you like, will uh, decrease. So eventually you may want to replace the points and there's also a chance that they could break with them being so thin. And obviously with the other style of reflex point you would have to send the barrels away to get them replaced. So that's partly the reason why they've come out with this uh, R2 Revolution 2 system and the fact that they've got tungsten joined onto tungsten and it remains tight is really quite clever because you know we get aluminium stems and they're always coming loose but there's a little join along there it's very difficult to see with the eye and nowhere can I open that with my fingers <coughs> I have quite a, a strong grip. I'm going to try and open it with a piece of uh, elastic band just so I can get a bit of a better grip on it. Let's see if I can open it with this. <coughs> I'm 
no got no chance it's even stuck to me skin so obviously that's why you need the tool and that's a good thing because you don't want the the nose to be coming loose when you're playing darts and another advantage of these or maybe not an ad advantage but an additional uh, bonus I suppose for the guys that are playing darts professionally or maybe even semi pros sometimes they have to go different countries and travel by plane so you're not really meant to take pointed objects I think you've got to fill out a declaration form and all that so with these you can remove the points put the points in your wallet and just store the darts in your case so that's a little added bonus right, if you look on the nose of the barrel on the second groove it's got two notches Let's see if I can get a better close up and that's where you place the tool um, on the uh, tool it says letter B and as you can see it's a U shape and when you put the tool in I'm doing this through the camera screen so it's a little bit awkward to see what I'm doing don't put the tool at an angle you don't want a slight angle it has to be nice and parallel so once it's lined up it goes on very easy um, the first time you do it you might feel it a little bit of a pinch and just uh, push it on but try not to force it too hard definitely make sure that it's level and straight before you push it in and all you do is just turn it and that's basically it but as you can see there's the nose it screws off and they've put a lot of work into working how to get tungsten and tungsten to stay tight they've come up with a, a unique thread very fine and basically it's that design of the thread that's keeping the nose tight and all you need to do then if you need to change the point just take the point out and put a new one in that little rubber o-ring underneath the brass ferrule that's just there to stop the point turn uh, it's not there to keep the nose cone tight so when you've changed your point you just screw it back on and you get your point tool again and all you need to do then is just pinch it up a little bit virtually hardly any effort at all and then it's tight again and basically that's all you need to do so we'll have a close look at the dart itself now alright here's the close look at the dart as you can see the point is very thin and a very smooth transition from the point to the nose I can't see any major gap or anything there but there is looks like there's a tiny little bit of a gap I can feel just a little bit of movement but I think that's more to do with the springiness of the steel as you can see it is bendy and springy and the barrel itself is a lovely uh, profile to it and although it looks as if it could be geared up for a front gripper it's got a very nice kind of a scallopy part on the rear so it could be nice for rear grippers as well but there you can see that notch but you can't really see the join at least I can't see it if you didn't know that it came up apart you would probably never imagine it would and it's a, a basic ring grip style uh, fairly grippy actually a little bit more grippy than it looks probably medium to high medium but as a front gripper I'm holding on the chunky part there but kind of feels more comfortable there. Uh, 
finger seems to sit in it a little bit better but grip is all the way along the barrel looks a little bit different on that rear part there I think it's a little bit shallower and you've got these kind of crystal clear polycarbonate stems and the flame effect standard shape flights the points are 27 millimeters long it's got a smooth section on the nose of about 3.1 millimeters then it goes into this ring grip that's 40.6 uh, millimeters wide and then near the rear it changes slightly to a, a kind of a shallower ring grip for 5.5 millimeters and then a small section at the end of 1.5 millimeters the length is 50.7 millimeters and the width is 7 millimeters That one is 24.01 grams. 24.01 and 24.01. So they're all perfectly matched. And the full setup is 25.98 grams. There's nothing attached, the balance point is just front of centre and with the supplied setup it moves a little bit behind towards the rear and this is the balance with medium, in between, short, extra short stems and standard flights. Too bad for me as a foot gripper. Um, I'll try the middle section now.
So, there you go. That's the 180 Reptile 24 gram darts. Um, certainly an interesting dart with the springy points and obviously with that unique um, replaceable point system where you can remove the nose cone. Um, as the, the darts themselves, um, not too bad with my front grip, but I think it actually worked better from the middle and the rear and probably going to suit that kind of a loopy style of throw. People who like to grip on the, the rear or around the middle. Um, like I said, on, on the front it wasn't too bad, but um, I probably should have done better than I did with the front grip. So the only thing that remains to be tested long term is how the nose cone works. As long as that system uh, stays put and it um, is robust enough, then it's a good system, but uh, only time will tell. And obviously I can't test that in just a short review. And that's something that I'll have to report on if um, anything happens, you know, the more I play with the dart, if I find any problems, but as far as I can see so far, it seems to work fine. It's quite an ingenious idea, like I said. So, that's the end of the review. Thanks for watching.